Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel and let's do freshest PSVR news in the village. We're gonna start from Ultra Wings follow up. So we still don't know that much about this game apart from the fact that we're going to play, fly planes. But also the developers posted another screenshot with another plane you'll be able to fly. But apart from that, they gave us some more info about the game. So basically they said that this game will support HOTAS if you want to use it. So that's nice if you got your flight sticks ready. But also they said there will be 3D Duder support and it's coming to all major VR platforms which for me of course PSVR is confirmed and PC VR as well so I think it's gonna be coming to Quest as well. It's coming next year, I cannot wait, I just want to mention this latest bit of info because we don't have enough flying games so at least there's something coming. And also speaking about something coming soon I want to speak a bit about O-Shape VR a game when you have to enter the hole perfectly so you have to fit through it with your head and your hands so this is like kind of VR fitness exercising game it's come out on Steam as an early access and you know it's had quite good reviews people enjoying it finally they did full release couple of months ago they told me when they asked me to cover it and I said it's only PSVR channel that uh, PSVR version will be coming after full release on PC and they've been re replying to comments that telling people that to wait just few months and we will know more so I'm assuming they also been speaking about Quest so early next year this should be out on PSVR as well and Quest if somebody is interested in that but PSVR version will be coming soon so if you like your fitness exercising game then you might like this one and now let's speak about some updates starting from touring cards a game that I'm a bit late with the review I've had ear infection so I hard find to balance in VR last week but anyway touring cards one of my complaining review which I gonna have to redo now was the graphics that there was bit of jagginess in the game but the developers promised patch on 24th that's gonna fix it but they actually released it this patch super fast and now the game got nice sharp graphics on PlayStation 4 so it looks same as on the PC. Touring Cards is out now as I didn't do review yet and I'm gonna have to redo everything I said in it. Let me just tell you it's really fun to play if you're thinking about picking it up you safe to do so because this game is tons of fun. Okay and another update and another expansion for Cave Digger come out. They release this game and they just keep on making this bigger. Whoever bought it can get this expansion and this expansion is called An Unervi Arrival. I didn't have a chance to play it but what's happening is some strange uh, things started happening in the frontier and some odd looking statues appeared and your mission in this DLC is to find out what is the meaning and what is the message behind it all. What's happening? It's up to you to check out. And another bit of update. This is coming soon or it's already out. I don't know. But it is for Five Nights at Freddy's VR. But don't get too excited. What's happening is the game getting flat mode as well. So whoever owns VR game then it will be updated for flat for free and then flat people can buy it and whenever they gonna get their VR headset then they gonna get as well Five Nights at Freddy's VR if they own flat version. So I don't know what's the meaning for anyone who already owns the game. I don't see the reason to play it in non-VR if you own VR but might be something to pull people in VR in the future. I don't know. But anyway, if you like what you're seeing then please press a like because it does help the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. And that's it. Bye.